Hey you guys, it is your girl Kia V all up in the building, all up on your screen. And today we are going to be doing swatches on the new Glam Light palette, which is the Chucky Crazy and Love palette. Now listen y'all, typically I wouldn't show you a bunch of horror and stuff like that because that's not my style. However, I was really curious about this palette, so I got my hands on it. So this is the cover. You see it has Chucky and it has Tiffany on there and then the back of it. Oh my goodness, you guys know that I love Glam Light a lot. Their formula is always impeccable. So when they came out with a new palette, I had to get up on it, child. I, I had to get up on it. So let's go ahead and see. Oh, look at this. It changes. A little action there on the cover. Look at that. Kind of creepy though. <laughs> <laughs> definitely kind of creepy but i'm not really scared of chucky y'all yeah, they started making chucky really like corny at the end so i stopped being afraid of them but yeah so let's get right into opening the palette so it does have a mirror i'm gonna block it because my light is literally shining right there hmm. so this is what the palette looks like Look at that glitter. Y'all know I cannot wait to get my fingers on that shimmeriness. Oh my goodness. They have the best shimmers ever at Glam Light. Like, I absolutely love their formula. So, it is a total of, what is this, 2, 4, 5, 15 colors in this palette. A lot of them are very, very dark. So, if you are a girl who's not into a lot of dark makeup looks, a lot of, like, smoked eye looks and stuff like that, then this might not be your zhush. But... I like it. <laughs> you see, I got black lipstick on. I do not mind having a very dramatic, exaggerated eyeshadow look. So, yeah, this is totally down my alley. So, we're going to start with the first row and then work our way down. So, the first color is called Wanna Play. And this one is a shimmery silver with sparkle. That's really pretty. All right. So, let's see. Come through for us, Glam Light. Ooh, look at that twinkle. Look at that little fairy dust. It look, I'll tell y'all what, I'm so glad I got Coco skin. I done got more makeup on me. Goodness. Let me fix that. Hold on. I done spread it out all the glitter. <laughs> Child, be careful. It's glitterful, okay? It is definitely glitterful. So, listen, that silver is sparkling, super beautiful. Um, it looks like it's mostly a glitter type of base. It's very subtly silver underneath that. But, listen, be careful because it's going to get everywhere. But that is one to play. The next one is Good Guy. And Good Guy is this kind of like tannish, grayish. Oh, it's really smooth. It's like a grayish type of colorway look at that it's giving ashiness on me um because of my skin tone but i do think it's pretty and it went on pretty smooth that's one of the ones it's kind of light though when i look at it on myself on the camera it kind of look a little better but in person it kind of looks a little light yeah so this is that one. Not too bad. I typically don't go for gray colors because I, I, I don't know why. It's just not my zhush. But that's not too bad. So the next one is It's Time to Play. And it is a black matte colorway. This is dark too. Let's see. What we got? What we got? It's more darker in the palette than on the skin. Yeah, I'm going to show y'all. You see how like dark well it is kind of a little ashy it was a little ashy but i thought it was gonna be like more of a like darker black you know what the darker black is in the corner because that is definitely darker than this so it's another darkish gray colorway but the formula is not too bad very smooth so then the next one is uh, Chuck and Tiff Forever. And this one has a bunch of glitter in it. And it's also like another gray. <laughs> it's a lot of grays over here. So this is the colorway here. Well, let's give it more monochromatic. Look at the glitter. Y'all be careful with this one for real. Because I am twinkling like I just made a wish. I'm twinkling like I just made a wish, y'all. That is really pretty though. 
<laughs> I do like this. You know what I mean? Like, uh, I don't know what color you would even call that. But it's pretty. I love the glitter. I do love the glitter. So the next one is scarier than ever. And this one is a brown colorway. Let's see. Blend right on in with the skin. Just a dash bit. But it is pretty. This is the type of color I would use on an everyday look. I'm so mad glitter is on my arm now. Because... All of these aren't shimmering, but it's making it shimmer. So forgive me. Um, but <laughs> I would wear this every day because it's a neutral look. And I feel like it's super close to my natural skin tone that it would be just a nice crisp look to work with. So I would definitely use that color. And that is scarier than ever. The next one is a kind of like reddish burgundy color with sparkle. It's called Issue 666. We'll leave it at that. We leave it at that, y'all. They try to push it. They try to push it. But this is that one. That is beautiful. You see how that went on all smooth? I like this. This is really pretty. This would be a gorgeous lipstick color, by the way. Like, sometimes I will have my black lip like I do now. And then I'll put, like, something over it to make it shine a little bit. Let me see. Maybe I should do it. Let's see. Is it going to look ugly? Let's see. That's kind of cute. I do that with my eyeshadows, though. You see how it gives it like a monochromatic type of look, a little glitter and color change and all that stuff. So, yeah. That's pretty. All right. She got a new lip color. I like it. <laughs> so, the next one we have is called I Like to Be Hugged. And this is a deep, dark chocolate black color. And this is what that one looks like. The colors are starting to look a little muddy. Just a dash bit. But you know what? I don't have a palette with this many dark colors in it at all. So this would be interesting to play with. But that is, uh, I like to be hugged. The next one is Play Pals. And this one is a deep dark like burgundy colorway. All of these I would get in lipsticks. <laughs> this should have just been a lipstick palette. Listen, because I really, really like it. All right, so this is that one. Everything is starting to look the same. I can't even hold you. I'm not even going front on you. All these colors are starting to look the same to me a little bit. Is it just me? Am I tripping? Let me know in the comment section down below because I feel like, mm, mm, I don't know. I don't know. So the next one is called It's Showtime, and this one is another... I want to say like a shimmer. That that kind of looks like this. Am I am I tripping a little bit? That that kind of looks like this, just a little bit, just just a dash. What's happening here? <laughs> Everything's looking the same a little bit. I mean, it went on smooth, but this actually looks like this. Hmm. So that's that one. The next one is um, Till Death Do His Part. And it is another like a dark red colorway. This is actually beautiful. It's giving me a red velvet cake vibes. That's kind of pretty. That's pretty, but it kind of looked like I just got bruised. <laughs> but that's a pretty color. I do like that. That is sharp. Oh, I do want to come up with a look with this. Look how pretty that is. I take it back. That is gorgeous. I don't care if it look like a bruise or not. That is really, really pretty. So she's a yes for me. And that one is Till Death Do Us Part. The next one is Your Pal Since 98. And it is a beaut. Oh, this is one of them movable colors. I'm going to show you. I always show you guys when we get that. Where you touch it and you can see your fingerprint. You see that? I like that. I don't know why. It be feeling like putty and Play-Doh and all the other stuff, but I like it. So this is this color. Let's see. That, oh my goodness. Did you, did you see that? Can, I, I, I want to swatch it again. 
All right, we gonna swatch it again, cause that. Oh my goodness. That color alone is a yes for me in this palette. That is beautiful. This is the type of consistency that we like. This is the type of shimmer we like. I absolutely love that. That is beautiful. Uh, I like that. Why do I feel like that's the only color I've liked? <laughs> Listen, I like the burgundy one too, but I really like how that looks. That shimmer is popping. So the next one um, is He's Back, and this is an all black matte colorway, and it has um, red sparkles in it. We're going to put on my little crusty elbow. We about to get there. So there is that one. And you can kind of see the difference in the glitter a little bit. This one is red. But that is sharp right here. This is cold busted. This is still in the show right here. The next colorway is Let's Be Friends. And it is another kind of brown, but like a little ashy brown. It's an ashy brown colorway. Let's see. That's how that one look right there. Smooth as butter. Now that it's coming together on my arm, I am kind of liking it more. Y'all see how it's coming together a little bit? It's looking a little pretty. I'm liking it a little more. So the next one is Charles Lee Ray. And this one is another shimmer color red. Let us see. That is beautiful. I do like that one. That's pretty. I like it. And then the very last color is called Free Hugs. And this one is another matte black colorway. Yeah, that's black, black. That's the color of my lipstick. All right. So these are all the colors in the palette. What do I think? You know what? I think I was more excited about the packaging. I can't lie. The... <sighs> It's buttery, it's smooth, it's a good consistency. Nothing was grainy or anything like that. But I think the palette itself and the decoration of everything is what made it like super, super hype. Like I said, if you're not into dark colors like this, you won't be um, into this palette. So just be careful when it comes to purchasing it. But I do think they have a nice quality. I absolutely love all the shimmers, all the glitter. My goodness, this girl right here is still in the show, and so are they right here, even though they're the same color. I absolutely love this one, even though it looks like a deep, dark bruise on me. It still looks pretty. So, listen, it's a really nice palette. And because I don't have any palettes this dark, I don't mind having it in the family. But, yeah, what do you guys think? Is it a hit? Is it a miss? Is it a pass? Are you copping this one? Because I don't think it's bad. In general, it's not bad. I'm just not used to all these super, super dark colors. So I'm trying to figure out what looks I'm going to come out with. Because, yeah, this is dark. This is dark, dark. But it seems like it'll be fun to play with. So definitely check it out if you are interested. And they do have the code, what is it? I think it's Trend Mood you can get 15% off. Or Glam Light. Because Glamlight actually has their own, you know, code for their... for their, It's crazy. They have their own 15% off for their palettes with their own code. Like, it's not their company. Listen, it's 15% off. So, this is the palette. I want to say this was about $30. But then you use your coupon and everything and then shipping and handling. So, this is the palette. Like I said, it's super, super dark. I love the whole idea of it. I think I like the packaging most of all and the theme behind it being chunky. So I absolutely don't mind it. Um, but yeah, it's okay. It's not bad. Tell me what you think. <laughs> I'm kind of torn on this one. Y'all know I, I think I like the brighter colors. Because y'all know I love to see popping blues and popping purples and popping greens and stuff like that. So this one is kind of a little bit underwhelming for me. But it's still really, really beautiful. And the consistency is great. The quality is great. And it is the theme of the palette. So listen, this is what should be expected. Chucky was dark. So the palette's going to be dark. So listen, I'm here for it. They definitely follow the agenda. They they stuck to what they were supposed to stick to. But yeah, I love how this lip color changed too. Look at that. That's 
cute. That that's cute. So listen, I would rank it in all honesty. I like the packaging. If you're thinking about the fact that the theme is dark, because Chucky was dark, then I mean it's still an excellent palette. You know what I mean? There's no like super patchy shades or anything like that. Everything is workable, buildable, smooth. So, honestly, for what it is, I would give it an 8 out of 10. Yeah, I would give it an 8 out of 10. But, yeah, just know what you're expecting. Don't be thinking that you're going to get the super bright glam light we used to with the Barbie and the, and the what is it, the strawberry shortcake and the Scooby-Doo. No, this is Chucky, and Chucky is dark. So, I'm absolutely here for it. The only thing about this I think that turns me for a loop, too, is the fact that spring is coming. So... With that in mind, I feel like this should have been a Halloween palette and that would have been more of a jush. You know what I mean? Because then you get a lot more rare out of it. Now, I feel like now, unless I'm going on like an exotic date or something, I don't know when I will pull it out yet, but I would love it for the winter fall time. So try to get your use out of it now while it's still cold outside because in the summertime, I don't know if you'll be picking this up outside of to do a smoky look. So yeah. That is the Chucky palette. Definitely check it out. I do think it's really, really nice. And it's crazy how the thing changes. Look at that. Crazy. Scary, but crazy. <laughs> so that is today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like content like this, definitely like, comment, and subscribe. I thank you guys so much for watching. And you already know, I will see you later. Bye.